Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, uh, we will try to create something like this uh, using soft body dynamics. So let's get started. First, uh, we will go and create uh, some text. Let's suppose we write. Okay, and then we'll choose some thick font. Okay, so now of course we have to add uh, some segments to this one so that we can see how many number of polygons we need. So for that we go to this caps option and click quadrangles and we we'll click this regular grid so you can see now it's giving us some polygons from here we we'll just uh, need very few of them okay and then we come back to object section and we increase some subdivisions on this side and also from here we we'll make them uniform or natural and we try to make it balance I think this is enough for the lower of low poly object so so this one we come here and group it all C and call it low poly and then we duplicate this one and we'll hide this one for now and this is high poly so high poly what we will do here is uh, we'll increase the number of polygons in this one so that we can render it high resolution something like this and also here we'll increase some of them somewhat like this okay so I think we need here more okay I think it is fine well enough okay so for now we will hide now our high poly and we will bring back our low poly we will collapse this one and make it editable poly and uh, the shortcut to select all the children is click uh, right click right click and then put them inside a connect create connect and add all of them inside the connect and we'll merge the points we do not need any of this one okay so now we have this object ready to make it editable uh, soft body so we create another plane as a for the floor okay we'll decrease the number of you know I think so for the dynamics better create a cube instead of plane because sometimes it gives issues so I would suggest creating some cube okay make this axis center center okay this is our soft this, this will be our soft body so what we'll do is now here <coughs> okay, call it soft body right click simulation tag and we call it soft body and this one will make it collider body simulation collider body let's play now I 
I think it is too high. Okay, and we also increase uh, our timeline. <coughs> so let's play again. So see it is behaving like a soft body but we want actually it to completely collapse to the ground so to achieve that one what we'll do is from beginning we come to the soft body and this structure we make it one okay and flexion keep it 50 let's try it. so now you can see that it's actually falling down completely okay i think it is working fine so uh, i will pause the video for now and i will make the simulation bake the simulation by going to cache include collision data and bake all okay now our simulation is done so we'll just play and see what is this how it, how it looks like so what we will do now is uh, let's suppose we take 150 frames for now okay and now this is the important step we see play again this is the animation we get something okay now the important step is to bake this simulation on point level as keyframes so on vertices of each uh, each vertices of this uh, object so to achieve that one we go to the f curve and uh, view show animated if it is or not it, if you cannot see the object you have to come here view show show animated okay now keep selecting this object and go to functions bake and uh, start to end and select all the properties all parameters check on and click ok so it will bake the animation on each of the vertices of the object so now you can see that we have all the keyframes still 150 and uh, we do not need now and it what it does is it creates a copy of the object and keeps the original one as it is there so we let's suppose we hide the original one and we'll work on this copy now so this is our animation okay so now what we ha we want to do is we want to copy this animation exactly on our high res uh, high resolution object so to achieve this one first we collapse this one make it editable poly same way put it inside the connect and connect all the vertices and do weld and connect all the vertices so now this is connected so to achieve that effect what we do we need some in modifier panels we go to this something called surface and we bring surface under to this one and now what we have to do is we have to add uh, this low poly surface to this uh, low poly soft poly object to this one surface modifier so the important thing that both the object needs to be on the same position let's see if it's not on the same position what it does is it affect or no okay see it's affecting but it's not affecting properly so it is recommended so that we keep both objects on the same spot so make it center so to to do that one the easiest way is we bring copy a uh, bring this one under the we make the child this to the soft body and we come we select the connect the higher high poly object and go to the 
zero, x and y make it zero zero. Bring back to this group. Okay, now we switch on this one and we click once more initialize. So now we hide the low poly and let's play the animation now. So now you can see the effect is applied to this one. Okay, so we want to create an effect that actually this thing is on already on the ground and then it is slowly gradually growing and becoming the latter like we want to play as we want to play it in reverse form so to achieve that one uh, we will do is same thing we select this object windows and uh, go to f curve so we want to copy We want to copy the animation on point level to this object. Now actually it is deriving from the surface modifier. We want to, we do not want to use this one. We want to bake the animation to point level on this object. So we come here and go to Windows F curve and bring this object here. and then function bake objects same thing click bake okay so it's done see again see it's gonna create a copy keep the same one original one and create the copy work so now again we achieve this thing now this is on keyframe level point level keyframes so we increase the timeline to 200 and you can see so now the last step is what we have to do is select all the keyframes okay and right click edit and press reverse sequence so now you can see that you have this animation big in so now you can see that slowly slowly it's working and it's growing growing and it's growing let's suppose I think we do not need too many keyframes so what we'll do is we delete from here onwards. Delete. And uh, come here and select and bring them to zero zero. Okay. And we need 150. So now bring it out and we suppose put them in one line and this is our final one so we call it final okay to add more life to this thing uh, call it M. to add more life to this one we'll add some modifiers like of course smooth Smooth, 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 smooth. Where is smooth? Smoothing. Okay. So now what we want is when it we want it to be when it finishes its final position, we want it to be jiggle little bit. So to achieve that effect what we do is uh, we pick the top we come here we go to the move graph effector and we add this delay effector okay and we bring it below the delay and now delay is actually a, a factor so what it can act as a deformer also so we come to deformer panel and add points and now it is processing something and from here a factor 
we want spring effect and we increase it to something like 80 let's see the effect now so you can see now it's somehow some springy effect let's see again If you want you can add it this one to subdivisions surface and reduce if you want you can switch off this smooth inside okay and this is giving it a select now it's acting weird because of this delay so you need to which is off keep smoothing on if you have any questions about anything or if you didn't understand anything let me know and hopefully next time we'll come up with some other tutorial thanks for watching